Adam Koop, Alpine Product Manager with Head Winter Sports. We're here today with one of our free ski athletes, Christian Allen. Christian's uh, one of our athletes that happens to live here in Boulder, where our office is. So Christian came in to talk to us about the Park and Pipe product today. Uh, you've had a pretty good season thus far, Christian. I know you uh, made it to the B&E Invitational over in Europe this year. Just got back from Hood. How was it this year for you? It was a great season, Andrew. Thanks for having me. And I broke my collarbone in the beginning of the season, which was kind of a bummer. Yeah. I won a video qualifier to go to be in an invitational, which I got to ski with the best athletes in the world, which That's is great. Awesome. Got to film a bunch of footage with a bunch of good skiers and learned a lot of tricks out in Hood. And I'm really stoked great. for the next season. Excellent. All right, now we checked out Christian's mad skills. Let's talk about the uh, line and break it down a little bit, Christian. You know, the, with the Park and Pipe series, we start out with the frame wall ski, and that's a ski that fe features a 360 degree sidewall. I know it's a ski that you've skied on uh, quite a bit. Christian, what do you think? What's your overall impression of that ski? Um, I really like the frame wall, what you guys did with it this year. Um, the ABS 360 degree wrap um, is great because it keeps the ski more stable and you have more edge control when skiing. And it also takes out a little bit of the vibrations and chunder when you're skiing on some bumps. It also is really durable when you're in the air and going for different grabs. You're always clicking your skis together and clinking the edges and the new frame wall really helps. Yeah, it's a lot of durability of the ski. That's great. I, I, I know that a lot of guys like yourself, uh, Shlopey, have really liked that ski, uh, especially in the big booters when you're, when you're carving in yeah. to a booter, that ski gives you a little bit more torsional stiffness and, and helps in those situations. Yeah, for sure. The, the next ski that, that we've got is, is the Caddy, and the Caddy is a similar construction to the, to the frame wall. It doesn't have the 360 degree sidewall, but it's a wood core fiberglass sandwich construction. It also features a similar technology that the frame wall does called ISS. And that's an independent suspension system. We put rubber or elastomer in the tip and tail of the ski and then underfoot where the binding goes. And, and I know you've had some good response to that as well. Yeah, the independent suspension system is one of my favorite things about the ski because a lot of my friends' skis are delaminating and I've never had a pair of head skis delaminate. Especially the tip and tail, yeah. that separation in it. Yeah. 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 And that, that ISS really helps take away vibration in those areas more than anything, especially how hard you guys are on the skis in the park and in the pipe, that vibration is really what causes that delamination. So yep. that ISS really helps guard against it. And then having it underneath the mounting plate as well gives you a little shock absorption in the landing. Trying to hit that Gucci plateau is a term that I learned this year. And it, it seems like when you're trying to hit that landing that, that that shock absorption can really help you quite a bit as well. Yes, exactly, it does. Cool. Uh, other than that, with the frame wall, we have the caddy, and we also have the show. The show is a, a real lightweight ski. We use a, a wood core cap construction on that ski. So a lot of the, the smaller guys, the younger guys, really adhere to the, uh, to the show. Some of the women out there that are skiing in the parking pipe, so that ski's got a real light swing weight, so it's really easy to, to get the ski to come around. So the show kind of caps off that adult park and pipe session or uh, segment of the line for us. And then we certainly have a couple of the uh, junior skis, the Caddy Junior, exact same construction, exact same build as the big guy Caddy, so that uh, the little Groms that are out there can, can look like you and ski like you with a, with a regular uh, look of the Caddy ski. I know another product that you got on for us this year was the new Thrasher boot, the three-piece Ergo Flex Triad shell. Um, what'd you think of the boot? What was your first impression of this? Uh, it's a great boot, Andrew. It's it's a little more comfortable. It's a little less like a race boot, more like a freestyle boot. Yep. It's really easy to get in and get off. Um, the new two buckle system is great. And I really like the new strap up here, how you can really get it tight around the calf and yep. have a lot of support. Excellent. You know, one of the things that we built into this, we talked about ISS and the skis. We, we did a 360 degree cushioning system in this boot as well. I'm sure you can feel it when you're out on the mountain riding it, but we're using a rubberized boot board, uh, a rubber insole in the liner, and then we actually put a, a shin saver gel insert into the tongue, and then a rubberized uh, spoiler in the back of the boot, and then even the hinge point has an elastomer protection around the hinge, so the whole focus of this boot, just like a lot of the focus of the skis, is to take that shock 
away from the skier and, and distribute it through the product instead of through your skeletal system, which keeps you out there longer and makes your season a little bit That's longer. what I need. <laughs> Avoid those broken collarbones yeah. and, and keep skiing, yeah. right? Stay comfortable. Cool. Well, look for Christian this this next winter in 1516. He'll be putting some edits out. He's always a great promoter for us with head. Always out there killing it for us. Check him out in 1516 and check out the line of head, park, and pipe skis and boots. Thank you.